Book of Evidence. Fade in. Exterior. Dublin City. Open ground. Day. A large Ferris wheel turns in silence, slowly decreasing in speed as it does. A pair of ice blue eyes stare from an upside down position as it turns. A figure limps slowly forward, casting a long shadow. The eyes blink as the shadow covers them. The sound of a slowing heartbeat. The rhythmic heartbeat now slows in unison with the wheel. The wheel and heartbeat stop. A sharp intake of breath. The Ferris wheel is now reflected in a pair of dead blue eyes. A loud beep. Interior. Apartment. Dawn. The beeping sound of a radio alarm. Erica James, 30s, sits upright in bed, glances at the radio alarm clock, which reads 4 a.m. The alarm continues to beep. She turns it off, flops back onto her bed. Ugh, fuck this shit. Erica groans, sits on the side of the bed, grabs a pen and jotter from her bedside locker, scribbles some notes, plods into an ensuite bathroom, splashes water on her face. Erica stares in the mirror. Dark, circled eyes stare back. Fuck this shit. Exterior, Dublin City, docks, dawn. Marked police vans cruise through the city docks, turn into a run-down residential area. Exterior, Dublin suburb, dawn. An apartment block sits quiet in a leafy suburb. Interior, Erica's apartment, dawn. Erica ties back her hair in front of a mirror, holsters her police-issue gun, hangs her police badge around her neck. A cat scampers out in front of her. She scoops it up. Frankie. There you are. She carries the cat into a kitchen, places it in a basket, empties cat food into a container, checks the water dish, rubs the cat's head affectionately. Back soon, baby. Erica's gotta catch bad guys. Erica puts her phone in a pouch on her belt, opens the door. Exterior, Erica's apartment, dawn. A car pulls up outside Erica's apartment. Interior, car, Dawn. At the wheel sits Mark Andrews, 30s, good-looking, with a no-bullshit air about him. Behind him is baby-faced Jimmy Duggan, 20s, an eager-to-please rookie. Erica jumps in. Jimmy hands her a coffee. She sips it. Yummy. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome. Erica acknowledges his remark with a grin, turns to Jimmy. Theory's over, Jimmy. This is real. We hit them hard. Go in with superior force. Scares the shit out of him. We're raiding a crack house, Erica, not taking down Bin Laden. Erica smiles sarcastically at Mark. Looks back at Jimmy, who glances away, embarrassed. Mark drives off. Erica chuckles. <laughs> Bin Laden. They got him. Exterior. Dublin docks. Dawn. Mark's car cruises through the streets. Turns onto the docks and into the same rundown area as the police vans. Exterior, rundown housing, laneway, dawn. A large number of uniformed and plain clothes police swoop down a dirty back lane. Erica whispers to Jimmy. Remember, stay close. Observe and learn. Erica smiles at his response, touches him lightly on the arm in acknowledgement. Two breach team cops slink past. Erica nods to them. On my order. High above their heads, a small curtain is pulled back. A partially hidden face looks out. Interior, old Georgian house, dawn. A hand holds back the curtain. Police swarm below. Exterior, back lane, dawn. Erica taps the breach team cops on the shoulder. Both cops creep up a small series of stone steps, with Erica and Jimmy following a short distance behind. Erica looks about. Suddenly, unsure, shouts out. Pull back! Pull back! Bang, bang, bang. Shots ring out. Jimmy is hit in the chest. Blood spews out as he is slammed into Erica, sending them both crashing down the steps. Erica screams as her hip smashes into an iron railing. The breach team cops take down the door. Two other cops grab Jimmy, pull him to safety. Erica fires back. Shattering windows. More shots ring out. Erica scrambles for cover as bullets impact the ground around her. The front door crashes in. Cops storm the house. Jimmy coughs up blood. 
A cop radios for an ambulance. Mark, gun drawn, rushes up the lane, reaches the house. Erica limps badly as she and Mark race inside. Interior, crack house, dawn, mayhem. Junkies run in all directions. Mark and Erica rush up a staircase. Two junkies zigzag past. Mark tackles one. The other pushes Erica. She recovers, continues on up the stairs, reaches a landing, comes face to face with Joshua Adams, 20s. Joshua stands, bare-chested, eyes staring wildly at Erica. An old 38 revolver pushed into his belt. Erica aims her own gun at him. Don't move. Joshua ignores her, races down a landing, jumps straight through a large window, shattering it. Mark rushes to the window. Six feet below, Joshua drops off a small roof, runs towards a garden wall. Mark smashes the remainder of the glass, shouts back at Erica, who is already making her way down the stairs. He's heading for the industrial estate. Mark jumps onto the small roof below. Exterior, crack house, garden, dawn. Joshua, his face and arms cut and bleeding, stumbles down a garden, scrambles over a wall with Mark in hot pursuit. Exterior, crack house, dawn. Erica dashes out of the house, her hand pressed against her hip, shouts at three cops attending Jimmy. Stay with him. A siren blares. Exterior, Dublin, street, dawn. Police cars speed down a street. A dispatch voice cries out over the radio. All units, all units, we have officers down. I repeat, we have officers down. Interior, speeding cop car, dawn. A cop floors the accelerator. Suspect is a white male, late teens, approximately six foot tall and about 12 stone. Suspect last seen headed for Utox Industrial Estate. Exterior, crack house, dawn. Two cops desperately perform CPR on Jimmy. Exterior, back lane, dawn. A cop car breaks violently at a small intersection. The dispatch voice continues. Suspect has dark hair and is wearing a grey tracksuit. Joshua skips across the hood of the car, races down the laneway. The cop car spins around. Suspect is armed and has shot at least one officer. Proceed with extreme caution. Joshua runs on, stops, tries to catch his breath. Mark bursts around a corner, a uniformed cop just behind him. Exterior, crack house, dawn. Paramedics work on Jimmy, cutting open his shirt and packing the bleeding wounds in his chest with gauze. Exterior, back lane, dawn. Joshua races down the lane, shoulders a door. It's locked. He shoulders another door. It opens slightly. He squeezes inside, pulls the door tight, squints out. Joshua looks down at the old revolver in his belt. He freezes, slowly turns around. An enormous dog stares at him, teeth bared. The dog begins to growl, then bark. It lunges forward. Joshua yanks open the door, rushes out into the lane, just as Mark rounds a corner. Joshua takes off. Mark closes the distance, sees Joshua pull out the gun. Joshua rounds a corner, stops abruptly. Erica, gun drawn, faces him down. Drop it. Drop the fucking gun. Joshua stands, chest heaving, desperately trying to catch his breath. He stares at Erica, holds up his hands. Erica's eyes remained glued to the revolver in Joshua's hand. Drop it now. The sound of Joshua's heart pounds in his ears. He stares at Erica intensely. His eyes widen in horror. Bang, bang. Two shots ring in his ears. Joshua watches in slow motion as two bullets strike Erica in the heart. Blood erupts in a fountain from her chest. Erica is lifted off her feet, hits the ground in a blur. Joshua falls to his knees, the gun still in his hand. Blood fills Erica's sweater as dead eyes stare back at him. Wham! Mark tackles Joshua to the ground. Joshua's revolver slides out of reach. Mark sits on Joshua as he cuffs him. Joshua stares at Erica as she lies motionless on the ground. His stare widens as Erica's face morphs into that of another young woman. Dead blue eyes stare back at him. Mark's voice echoes above him. You are under arrest for the attempted murder of a police officer. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to a solicitor. Mark stands up, yanks Joshua roughly to his feet, pushes him hard against the wall, glances over at Erica, who is very much alive. You okay? 
Erica holds her hand to her side, grimaces slightly. Yeah, I'm okay, Mark. Mark frisks Joshua as Erica pushes her finger through a small hole in her jacket. If you cannot afford a solicitor, one will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you? Joshua mumbles as his eyes dart in all directions. Two shots. Two shots. Mark pushes Joshua hard against the wall. Do you? Joshua blinks as if waking from a dream, nods at Mark. A cop holding Joshua's revolver by the trigger guard approaches, stares at Erica, as she wiggles her finger through the small hole in her jacket. Mark strides over to her, points back at Joshua. Watch him. Erica pulls back her jacket, opens the pouch on her belt, takes out her cell phone. Lodged in the center is a bullet. Two shots, two shots. Aisling. Mark grabs Joshua, marches him down the lane, fade to black. 